Hi, this is Alan from Alpus Group, and I'm going to talk to you in this video about uh, some software called Power Project Planning and Project Management Software. Uh, and um, there's a, an example featured um, here about Wilmot Dixon, the contractor, who has won gold at the CIOB Construction Manager of the Year Awards for his complex project to construct South Wales, Wales Police Learning Centre delivered using Power Project planning and program management software. So Power Project delivered a gold standard result by integrating five separate phases of work into a single cohesive program, centrally planning and managing complex resourcing requirements across each phase. Power Project BIM, that's building information management modeling, provided visual guidance for project contractors providing visibility over project changes and allowing Wilmot Dixon to resequence works in real time and mitigating the impact of disruption. The Learning Center project was completed just five weeks behind schedule despite the global pandemic. So that sounds like quite an achievement on the part of uh, Wilmot Dixon using this uh, Power Project uh, planning software. Um, so just going through a bit more of the detail here, turning a multi-phase brief into a single plan of action. Wilmot Dixon has a long-term trusted relationship with South Wales Police as they've been delivering projects together for close to a decade. In 2018, the force approached Wilmot Dixon with its most ambitious project, a new £49 million South Wales Police Learning Centre in Bridge End, Wales. The programme was briefed to Wilson, Wilmot Dixon's operations manager, Christopher Purchase in five phases, each presented as a separate contract. Demolition of existing buildings built on the site of an old power station and ammunition factory. Two, enabling works. Three, construction of the four-storey learning and development centre. Four, refurbishment of an existing warehouse and construction of new two-storey physical training centre. 5. External highway alterations to create new access roads to the site. Power Project planning and program management software enabled Chris to integrate each phase into a cohesive plan of action. So Chris uh, Purchase, construction manager Wilmot Dixon, says the following. We received each phase of the project piecemeal. Nothing flowed, but the logistics needed to sink, especially as we were building on an operational police campus. Our supply chain doesn't have infinite resources, so we used Power Project to amalgamate each phase and ensure we could meet South Wales Police's deadline. Using program visibility to overcome initial challenges, Power Project was instrumental in facilitating the South Wales Police Learning Centre project. Initially, Chris used the software to manage pre-construction communications and stack program resourcing. This is another quote from Chris Purchase. Right from the tender, I used Power Project to create a resource curve, so I knew exactly what we needed. It's a very informative piece of software. South Wales Police Learning Centre is the most complicated programme we've ever delivered through Power Project. One phase alone had over 700 bars, that's activities. Preparations proved complex as Chris and his team were working on a brownfield site with pockets of contaminated land. Rather than removing 18,000 tonnes of contaminated subsoil or capping and covering the contaminated pox pockets with a geomembrane, Wilmot Dixon suggested a more sustainable approach, planting shrubs and trees on the land and recertifying it as a nature conservation site, that's SINC. This ambitious planting plan was integrated into wider programme activities through Power Project. The team encountered further challenges to the enabling works on a daily basis. For example, unmapped high-pressure water and electricity mains ran underneath the site, serving the nearby town of Bridge End. This is another quote from Chris Purchase. Visibility is a key benefit to using Power Project. If we stopped one activity, we could instantaneously see which other activities would be affected. We could also see the impact of early changes on the other project phases, which helped us with resourcing further down the line. Excavation works also revealed limestone cavitation, which Wilmot Dixon excavated and crushed, backfilling the void which enabled a traditional foundation solution to be adopted rather than extensive piling next to existing high-pressure water mains. 
This decision saved South Wales Police circa £750,000 and advanced the construction phase start date by two months. Working closely with contractors to plan accurate timelines. In the construction phase, Chris used Power Project BIM to plan and phase the techniques and brief his contractors. He began by programming the Learning Centre's concrete frame, transposing international foundation class IFC models into the BIM software. Chris Purchase again is quoted, I like to walk through each project phase with our supply chain and Power Project come, comes into its own here. I've used the BIM tool for planning and phasing several jobs. It's a visual way to show everybody what's happening, which I find very helpful. Through Power Project, Wilmot Dixon could accommodate contractor estimates to accurately plan how long each element would take. In addition to creating reliable timelines, Chris noted these estimates in Power Project for future reference. This data proved extremely useful when the pandemic hit and he needed to re-sequence the entire program. Power Project enables us to track and amend programs, update sequences and justify why we allow a certain time for each activity. It's very useful when we need to advise customers on changes to the program and how this could impact delivery. That's Chris Purchase quoted again. Comparing progress with the project's critical path. Strong communications with customers and the supply chain are central to Wilson Dixon's ethos. The team met with contractors weekly during the South Wales Police's Learning Centre project, using a live data snapshot from Power Project to track the critical path and make real-time decisions. Chris Purchase is quoted again, Things changed rapidly, but with Power Project we could show everyone exactly where we were. Rather than blinding people with numbers, Power Project allowed us to break out sections for different trades and to track progress against the baseline. We could see exactly where things had been brought forward and where they'd been pushed back. While Chris used the master program to maintain a high-level view, he encouraged the project's package managers to extract their own short-term programs, monitoring output and resourcing and making changes in Power Project if necessary. The team could also provide a geographical representation of their progress to South Wales Police so they understood the impact of both pandemic and site challenges on program timelines. As a result of this attention to detail, Wilmot Dixon delivered the Police Learning Centre project in 208 weeks, just five weeks behind the original schedule. Planning ambitious future collaborations. Wilmot Dixon's innovative thinking and responsive planning earned South Wales Police's Learning Centre industry recognition. Christopher Purchase won gold in the higher education category at the 2022 CIOB Construction Manager of the Year Awards. The project has also enhanced Wilmot Dixon's working relationship with South Wales Police, deepening the trust between the two organisations. Chris is already discussing a new large-scale project with the force and Power Project will play an integral role in delivering this and other future construction programmes. The power behind successful projects. And there's an invitation here to book a free demo to explore Power Project. Well, obviously we're not going to do that um, just now, but what I would like to say about this article is it does show the value of um, comprehensive um, and thorough detailed planning of the project because that is one of the main values that a main contractor delivers uh, regarding a project and um, uh, in this case the main contractor has integrated these um, uh, phases um, it, into an overall program of work these uh, uh, five uh, contracts effectively or what it started out as, as and um, they've uh, successfully delivered a very complex project which it, it required a number of changes as a result of um, site conditions and also the COVID pandemic and uh, delivered it in a very efficient time scale and uh, when you consider that's 49 million pounds worth of value in quite a complex uh, sequence um, with a lot of constraints operating inside a um, an existing police operational police um, uh, facility, then uh, it's an outstanding uh, achievement. So, uh, fair play to uh, Wilmot Dixon, uh, excellent result. Christopher Purchase uh, for pulling all of this project together, and um, 
for the use of um, uh, Power Project uh, software, which uh, we've used in the past and uh, which we'll be reacquainting ourselves with. Um, so probably I'll be booking a demo on Power Project to see the recent enhancements um, of that software. If you're interested in um, seeing how we can help you to deliver your project and how we can um, help with comp uh, complexity as well as with finance and resourcing of your project, then call Alan on 07539141257 or 0333 uh, You can schedule a call with me at calendly.com slash alanje or you can drop me an email at alan at That's all for this video. Cheers.